Simultaneous departures from Horn and Trumpet Bahnhof. Frau Doyle sets off on an anti-clockwise circuit of the Nibelung line and Baskerville heads to the engineer's siding where the shunting will take place. The train in the siding has arrived from Kirschbaum im Wald and been propelled in there. The task today is to reverse the direction of the train so that the guards van is at the other end of it, give the engineers access to the wagon containing the cases and take the remainder of the train back to Kirschbaum im Wald. Once Frau Doyle has cleared and is in the loop at Horn and Trumpet Bahnhof, the shunting manoeuvre can begin. The reason we need her to be in the loop is that if the train runs away a bit, it might do going down the incline here, the passengers and crew will be safe as the points will be set for the main line. First of all, Baskerville removes the guard's van and parks it on the main line adjacent to the engineer's works here at Tiefshorn. The whole of the rest of the train is now drawn forward from the siding and onto the main line. This necessitates Baskerville going down the incline slightly, which is why we're taking precautions and keeping the passenger train safe in the loop. The loco's horn is sounded to signal to people when it is about to move to the signaller when it is clear of points and ready for the points to be changed, and to the guard. The guard also blows their whistle on occasions to signify to the driver of the train, as here, when it is clear of the points if the driver's view is obstructed. You can see that half the train approximately is downhill now. It's a heavy train. This shunting manoeuvre is a little more awkward than it seems because of the incline. Another of the challenges that I've built into the Feck Holbahn, because why not? And now it is time to draw the case wagon containing machinery, parts for machinery, away from the main line and off the train that is parked there and back into the siding and now it will be positioned so that the crane can lift the crates out so that the engineers can empty them, use their contents and potentially refill them with parts for other railways. With the wagon perfectly positioned for the engineers to use it, Baskerville draws forward. The crew is responsible for making sure that the gate is closed and the chocks in place so that they can report to the signaller that the siding is now out of section. Baskerville reverses down onto the train and heads for Kirschbaum im Wald. Pausing here to accept the Kirschbaum im Wald token from Albrecht, the signaller, the train is soon on its way again. I promise you that this station and its buildings are not quite as wonky as they look in this. It's something to do with the wide angle effect of the iPhone lens. The signal here guarding the approach to Kirschbaum im Wald Bahnhof 
is a stop and await instruction sign rather than a tevitative signal. The procedure is that the driver of the train attracts the attention of the station manager. The station manager's whistle actually is heard to give permission to proceed. It's not the guard's whistle this time. And then the train does move into the station. This actual shunting manoeuvre takes about twice as long. Uh, I've edited out the hand of God where it appears. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I adore shunting. It's one of my favourite occupations on the railway. Do please come back for more sometime and thank you for watching.